It's Mara here, Daily Dose of a Hot Mess, and today I am doing a monthly favorite. If you don't know what a monthly favorite is, then you need to go check yourself into rehab and reevaluate your life priorities because I don't know what kind of crack you've been smoking, but obviously it's not the good kind, honey. A monthly favorite is basically where I talk about items I've been loving or trying or been doing throughout the past month so you guys can give it a try yourselves and hopefully like the things I show and do and be as happy as I am because obviously I'm the role model citizen. So let's get started. My first favorite is this Lush product right here and this is actually my first Lush product I've ever tried. I've been hearing about the craze with Lush online from like Zoella to Lohanthony's bath bombs. Everybody has been talking about this company so I thought it's time for me to try it out myself. I decided to go with Cupcake Fresh Face Mask and basically this is heaven in a jar because it smells like chocolate. It even looks like chocolate actually. This was roughly $7 Canadian and on first glance you might think it's pretty expensive because the container is so small but you get three uses out of this so if you divide $7 by three it's roughly $2.33 I know typical Asian right here and if you compare that to a regular facial mask at a drugstore that retails for roughly $2 you pay 33 cents more per use for this item but the thing is you get so many more benefits with a Lush product it tells you when it was made and when it expires and it's also made by a person as well so you know that it's not made from like a machine in China somewhere and it hasn't been sitting on a shelf for months and months and months I'm one of those people who constantly need to eat food when I study and since April was finals for me I have been binge eating everything and throughout all my endeavors my favorite food or study snack is the McDonald's Sunday. With a McFlurry, everything is mixed around and you can't dissect each taste, but with a McDonald's Sunday, you can taste the creamy part of like the ice cream and also your topping. My favorite topping is caramel. I've always been a fan of caramel over chocolate ever since I was a little boy. I think caramel is just sweeter than chocolate and chocolate is just so basic bitch. In my city, it's recently been raining like crazy, and get this, it was actually snowing yesterday. Yes, at the end of April, like what the fuck? To stay dry from the rain, I've been wearing this trench coat. I love trench coats so much. I think they're so versatile. You can style them with any outfit, and boys in trench coats are the sexiest thing ever. Oh my gosh, that's like my weak spot. I got this trench coat from Express, but my dream is to have a Burberry trench coat one day, but like a Burberry trench coat is like 20 times the price of this. So until I find myself a sugar daddy, I just gotta wait. My next favorite is a candle, and this isn't just any old candle, it's actually a soy candle. They are so much better than regular candles. First of all, soy candles burn way longer, and the smell is so much more potent. You can put this on a table, and without even lighting it, your entire house or apartment will smell like whatever this candle is. The only downside to a soy candle is that it's actually a little bit more expensive, and by little bit, I mean double the price but it's definitely worth it in the long run because the burning life of a soy candle is probably triple or quadruple the times of a regular candle. I got this in their scent Intimate so it's perfect for a Friday night. Ew, ew, ew. My last favorite is kind of a weird one and it's goodbyes. April is the last month of the school term in university so that means I'm saying goodbyes and farewells to a lot of people I know and it's not that I like saying bye basic bitches to everyone I know, it's more the fact that I like how a goodbye provides closure and it's like the end of a chapter in your life and you can move on to something bigger and better. Personally I'm really bad with goodbyes because I've been told I'm super emotionless and like not heartfelt like when someone hugs me for the last time I'm just like can you like go now bitch I'm just one of those people who registers emotion later on 
when like the person is actually gone from my life because when I'm actually saying goodbye to the person in the present like they're still with me like I know I can still like text them and stuff but like half a year later we might not be texting anymore because we've drifted apart and that's really when it hits me that oh my god I'm never going to have the same friendship I had with this person ever again. So those are all my April favorites. I would love to hear your favorites in the comments section down below so I can go check those products out for myself. As always, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe for more Merrick because I am going to try to post more since summer is coming up soon. Until next time, that's your daily dose of a hot mess. Bye, bitches!